at uh, Kelgard. So Kelgard is not wrestling. Uh, I actually spoke to Coach Spades last night, and the strategy here is to move Kelgard up to 165 because uh, he's figured that Kelgard's not going to be able to beat Williams, but he's got a much better chance with Robbie Waller out at 165 than he does with his walk-on for uh, uh, Dustin Walker. So Spades' strategy here is clear is to move Kelgard up and hope that he can handle that win 65 weight class. And who do we have here, John? Uh, this is uh, Dustin Walker. Uh, he's a, I believe he's a walk-on uh, sophomore from Putman City North High School. I think a lot depends on how this match turns out here as far as major technical or uh, decision or whatever it is. Well, Spate's uh, strategy is I'd rather give up even six here and have a possibility of winning three at the next one because otherwise he would probably win both or lose both of these weights. Maybe a strategy of desperation, but only time will tell. It's Matt Sparkman, um, who is the wrestler here, um, against TJ Williams. We'll get this straight here. And, uh, He's a freshman from Norman, Oklahoma, and uh, a true freshman. And a walk-on also. And a walk-on, and uh, he is from Norman High School. He was coached by Gordon Mercer and stepping in. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough thing to step in against the defending national champion, undefeated as a collegiate, T.J. Williams. And uh, he is taking it to him. It's uh, eight to three in favor of Williams. Another takedown there. I believe it's safe to say this is his first match. What? Eight to four, escape for Sparkman against T.J. Williams. Williams having four takedowns and Sparkman having four escapes. You know, while we're watching Williams wrestle here, of course, his older brother, three-time national champion in Iowa, is really the pick at the Olympic trials to win at 167, but there's a Texas wrestler named Brandon Slay, who's a two-time NCAA runner-up in Pennsylvania, who happened to lose to Williams uh, Slay's senior year, but I did a TV deal with uh, Slay this this week, and he told me that he felt that he can take Williams. He's put him into overtime before at the University Nationals, and with that crowd there, I think that's going to be one of the one of the most exciting developments if it comes to pass. If Brandon Slay can push his way up against Joe Williams, coming down to the, who wins, who gets the trip to Sydney for to represent the U.S. wrestling team. Well, it's going to be exciting, and T.J. Williams is uh, making this one uh, very exciting for him because he's uh, got his fifth takedown, makes it 10 to 4 going into the uh, second period. This is the end of the first period. A reminder that today at intermission, Iowa Public TV and Jim Gibbons will present another legend of college wrestling. Today you'll meet Danny Hodge, the legendary wrestler from the University of Oklahoma. We'll visit with my partner, Dan Gable, the USA Olympic coach. We'll talk about more about the Olympic trials being held here in Dallas in June and possible team members. Jim Gibbons will also visit with former Oklahoma All-American Roger Frizzell, who lives here in Dallas. We'll also give you our webpage address and let you know about all the things that you can access and ways you can interact with us on the web. Plan to watch today at intermission, which isn't too far off. We're into the second period right now. Minute 50 left. Uh, T.J. Williams, defending national champion, is up 10 to 4. He just got a reversal. Makes it 12 to 4 in favor of Williams. I don't think Williams has any back points. No, no, you're going to go down. Uh, that could uh, make a big difference from a one-point uh, tech fall of four point to a five point. Williams going to have to put the guy on his back because he's thinking about tech and falling. Well, the Sooners are hoping just to get out of here with five points against them, not six. Well, right now they're on track to get four. Yeah, if, if uh, TJ can't put him on his back, he'll only get four for the tech fall. He's got to get back points to get that fifth point for the, for the team. And right now it's 14 to five, seven takedowns for TJ, but no back points so far. As soon as he gets to 15, the match is over. It's either going to be four or five. I think I'd be working on the back points now, not as he gets closer to the tech ball. He is, he is. He's letting the hip slide through a little bit. He's uh, only turning the hip, and he's not turning the upper body well enough. I 
believe he's already had one tech fall this year by a 15 pointer that was, was a four pointer earlier in, in the year. Back. So, Reggie, gotta do something now. You're gonna get caught. When he had him rolling around with uh, whip overs and from the feet snap downs, that's when he had his best shot. I think his best shot's getting the back points off the takedown. Somebody's uh, injured here, I'm not sure. Oklahoma took an injury timeout. Down 14 to five. Um, Matt Sparkman is, uh, has an injury timeout right now. He's looking at his hands right here. P.J. Williams being coached by his uh, coaching staff and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Well, John, we want to thank you for uh, all that you're doing for the sport of wrestling down here in, in Dallas and, and, and for the United States and hosting, a, a, as you say, a memorable event. And uh, we just want to thank you for all you're doing. Well, you know, I've been involved with amateur wrestling for 35 years. It's been a big difference in my life, and I want to do everything I can to help the sport because it's, it's just what it's, it's done for me. And I'm going to give back and as long as I can and especially want to build the sport up in the state of Texas. Well, that address again that uh, we want to, whoa, and there he's trying to, TJ's trying to, he's trying he to get those back, those back, but he can't get him. He's just not used to it. Got to do it in practice more, I think. We'll make sure we get that address up between periods. Uh, and and uh, John, it's a, uh, uh, we want to get those Iowa fans uh, for the uh, former Iowa State and Iowa wrestlers down to Dallas June 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. That's right, right? Big key matchup coming down possibly at 119 between Eric Aiken, formerly of Iowa State, and Mike Mena, formerly of Iowa. They're ranked right now with number one and number three, and there's a real good possibility those two guys could go head-to-head -head in the championship. T.J. Williams up 18-7, to 7, 11 seconds left in the second period. Head up, head up. Keep down. Stand up. 11 point. There, whoa, he's only going to get the one count. He's trying to do a tilt right here. And he is not out. Yep. Here's that address again for the, the trials in uh, Dallas. 1-800-725-2332 is the phone number. And as John said, you call it, you'll get the tickets, and they'll be good ones. www.wrestlingtrials2000.com. That's at Reunion Arena, Dallas, Texas, June 22nd to 24th for the Olympic trials. And uh, thanks a lot, John, for joining us. My pleasure. I'd improve it, improve it. Williams uh, did not make a good first move. He ended up going to waste in... Uh, 15, 20 seconds. He should have cleared the hands better, but there he's going to get a reversal. Two more for the reversal. It's 20 to 7 in favor of TJ Williams. 13 point uh, lead right now. Still looking for the for the hip tilt. Might as well not uh, score any more takedowns unless you're going to try to put him on his back. Got to keep trying to get the hip tilt. Oh boy. 14 right there. He's just getting out of position. He's going to. He's getting himself so far out of position. He's going to pin himself. Better look out. He's going to blow. Gave up a reversal, which is good. But don't put yourself in a position to uh, get pinned. Well, a minute left now. It's 21 to nine. That's a 12-point uh, lead for, and actually 13 with um, riding time. He's got the leg in too, and so Williams is going to have to. Uh, some time's going to be killed here. Warning green. Warning green. Yeah, that's a stall warning against Williams, who's pretty much just laying on the mat right now. He's not building his hips up. There he is. He's kind of a uh, guy's got his wrist pretty tight there, and he's just there he goes. But he's uh, not doing a very good job of clearing the wrist there. And Tim Johnson along with Dan Gable and Jim Gibbons bringing you the... There he's trying to look. Oh, he should have missed the Turk. So we're in the first meet of the Lone Star Duels between Iowa and Oklahoma. Number one ranked Iowa, number five ranked Oklahoma. And T.J. Williams is going to take a, a, a victory here. 23 to 10, 24 to 10 with riding time, and he gets four points for Iowa, making the score 13 to three in favor of Iowa over Oklahoma, going into the intermission.